back with Ashley Ray, who is taking a little way, uh, time away from her family vacation to check in with us live from Disney World. Ashley Ray, it is so great to see you, and you're in shorts. It's warm weather, <laughs> even though a little drizzly, but still nice, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're in Florida. I can't complain. We're at Walt Disney World. It doesn't, I don't know if it gets much better than this. I'm with my family, so it's a great day, and I'm with you ladies. That's, yeah, I love it. That's right. So we've been talking about how you're celebrating the upcoming adoption of your children, three, uh, three little girls? Yes. Awesome. So in addition to mom, you have also been role as Mrs. International, and so you're going to be doing some giving back while you're there in the role of Mrs. International. Yes, absolutely. And you know, whether I was Mrs. International or not, this is a quality that Andrew and I, my husband and I really want to instill in our children. So many times, you know, we go on vacation and we come here to relax and rejuvenate and to get away from reality. And that's great because we all need to do that. But one of the things that we want to teach them is being able to give back and to make an impact in the communities that you're visiting. And so what we are gonna do is we're on a little bit of a road trip through Florida. We're hitting Disney here for a couple days, but then we're actually gonna be to Clearwater Beach in the Tampa area, Fort Myers, the Keys, Miami, and back up to Orlando this week. And in each of those communities that we're going to, we're gonna stop maybe at our local Walmart or Target or a store, grab some supplies, and then go and make a donation to a local shelter um, or a community center in that community. Again, trying to find time while we're on vacation to make an impact in the communities that we're visiting, especially for those at-risk families. Um, and, and again, that's just a quality that we wanna instill in our children that while you're away, still having fun, doing something for yourself to be able to do something for others as well. Oh, I love that. I mm -hmm. think that we could all learn a lot from you and your family. Um, so what are some of the uh, shelters? How, how did you decide where you're going to stop? Yeah, so some of them are clubs, like a boys and girls club. Some of them are um, kind of like in Grand Forks. We have like the Northlands Rescue Mission for um, low income or poverty families, homeless communities. So those are kind of when we looked at the main communities that we were going to, we just kind of did some Googling and saw what was out there. And then that's kind of how we det determined where we wanted to go. But we knew we really wanted also to focus on supporting um, all of our children came from the foster care system, from at-risk families, from low-income poverty families. And so that's who, just to keep it consistent with who we're supporting, we wanted to be able to support those in these communities as well. Which we've talked to you about that a lot. Not only do you live your platform, because you are a foster parent and, and do fostering, this has also been something that you've been very passionate about sharing with other people. Yes, it has. You know, foster care, there's such a need for foster care right now, especially with everything, of course, with the pandemic. Um, right now, we're seeing an influx with the children coming into the foster care system because of the increase in abuse and neglect that happened during social distancing and quarantining. And so now more than ever, we need foster families. Um, I can't even stress it enough. We need foster families. And if it's not as a full-time foster family like ours, there's respite care providers. That's an option. Um, but and if that's not an option, just ways to support the foster care families and at-risk families by, you know, making donations, kind of like what we're doing. So there's endless ways. But right now, we are in desperate need for foster care families to love and serve the needs of I didn't catch that last part. But I know she cut out a little bit, yeah, just but we a are checking bit. in from Florida. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's totally are you fine. There? Yes, yes, we can we, still hear we, you. We can, okay. we can. No, it's a, it sorry. is a fantastic cause. And I think we could probably even share a little bit that in the upcoming weeks, we are going to have um, an entire week, a theme week dedicated to um, a little bit on adoption and on adoption, foster care and some other things too. Infertility issues. Yeah. I know we've also talked to, uh, maybe talking to an OB on, you know, what to expect when expecting and embryo adoption. Embryo adoption. I mean, all sorts of things that we are going to be talking about coming up. And so we're looking forward to having, um, having you back to talk about that or talk with us then too. That would be great. Sorry, I cut out. No, no that's that okay. is awesome. That is <laughs> no, we love it. So thank you so much for being with us, Ashley Ray. This has been wonderful. If you can still hear me, I just have to say, but vacation isn't vacation without a fanny pack. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a fanny pack when you go on vacation. I, I 
love, love it. it. And That's the great. ears if you're at uh, yeah. Walt Disney World. You're yes. looking great. Yeah, Thank you. Enjoy. Have, an, uh, have an awesome time. Coming up Thank on you. North Dakota today, uh, helping people who have lost everything. We're talking to the Furniture Mission about providing the basic necessities for people coming out of crisis.